Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Video Games back with another really cool arcade game video for you this evening. Or actually a pinball machine. Check this one out. Very good looking Gottlob pinball machine from 1980. Gottlob's Buck Rogers. I have never seen this television show. Some people have said it's horrible. I don't know. I haven't seen it. But the pinball machine is pretty fun. I like these System 1s if you've seen any of our other videos. Uh, I think they did a really good job with their System 1 stuff. They're very simple, but they're cool. But I had never played this one, but this is a good one. Let's check it out. It uh, has a nice cabinet. Cool, simple art. You know, kind of a space theme. We'll get to the back glass in a second, but it's awesome. Stencils are the same on both sides. Check out that back glass. With the famous Gottlob blue Futuba displays. They even went so far, they usually didn't do this, but they put art on the uh, arch at the back. A lot of games that'll just be, you know, white or whatever. But check out all the art. Very well done with characters from the show, I suppose. So, got Libs Buck Rogers. Got a little ship over here. Now this one's flaking a little bit if we get real close. So you can see the light through it. So that's because some of the paint has flaked off the back of the back glass. It's been sealed so it won't get any worse, but time has done its damage. Dude's got a little gun he's aiming at you looking very 3d there whoever drew this and then you have this woman who I've been informed is the queen I don't know what she's the queen of but that's an interesting hat it's what 1980 looks like folks kind of a little rip off of uh the Star Wars bikini. I guess. Was that out yet? 1980? Star Wars was 78. When was the when was uh, Princess Leia captured? Was that the first movie or the second movie? I'm not as big of a Star Wars nerd as I should be, I guess. But that's just a cool back glass. Very well done. Look at that. Buck Rogers. So on this arch you've got you know the ship. This arch you've got the other ship and they're shooting each other. And then you've got I suppose these are like a I think that's a character from the show, like a robot. Yeah, this captive ball up here with Gottlieb's famous very target behind it. Depending on how hard you hit that target, it gives you different points. And it's very cool. Very, very cool. Two pop bumpers. You've got, uh, I think that's the same character we were just talking about right there. Check all that out. Very cool. All right, so let's read the instructions a little bit, shall we? As you know, it makes every game more fun if you read the instructions. Buck Rogers instructions, three balls per player. Completing Buck rollover sequence resets and lights the red drop targets for special. So that's this up at the top. Now you'll notice these are blinking on and off and things. The original Gottlieb System 1 boards don't do that. 
this would just be sitting here dead, not blinking, nothing moving. But this uh, this has been re has a uh, replacement board that we ordered for it, so it is modernized. So B U C K. So you try to spell out all four of them, which is actually kind of hard. The way it's arranged with that thing at the top, how it sits up higher, makes it where it's hard to get the two inside ones. Um, this game also with that new board has a skill shot feature, so one of those will blink when the when the ball comes out, and if you make that one, you get more points. All right, so whenever you uh, get those, it it lights the uh, resets and lights the red drop targets for special. So it will push all those back up, these drop targets over here, and it will light that up. So what that means is if you get all four of them down, you get the special, which is a free game. Completing red drop target scores 10,000 points, adds bonus, and resets the red drop targets. I wonder how much bonus it adds. That's the bonus ladder. Moving the very target from base to return to base. So this is an interesting little deal. So you've got this captive ball up here that you can hit easy from the right flipper, but it's harder from the left flipper because the left flipper, if you look through the trajectory, look at this. See how you have to slide it by that drop target and you can just barely hit it? It's a hard shot. You have to be perfect. But on this right one, see how it's much more open? Bam! <laughs> so it's a lot easier to make it from the right flipper than the left one, but you can make it from the left one. So if you hit it clean, it is possible to knock it all the way back, that little target behind it, all the way up to the top. And so you move it from your base to one, two, three, four, five, and then return to base when lit. You knock it all the way back. Right? So, moving very target from base to return to base with one hit scores 10,000 points, resets and lights all the yellow drop targets, lights the kick out hole, and the extra ball rollover. So it resets these four yellow drop targets over here, and it lights those two lights there that say both targets down, advance multiplier, when lit. Now, as you know, whenever you get more of your, whenever the multiplier advances, uh, basically it counts your bonus twice, or three times, or four times, or five times. And it also light, lights this light. When lit, scores bonus. You land in this saucer a lot, so that makes this game really fun, because if you can get that lit, when you land in there, your bonus go ahead and scores. Uh, you go ahead and score your bonus, and then you can start building it up again. So very cool, very cool. So that's what happens if you make it with one shot, bam! But the cool thing about a very target is it can actually catch and hold it like halfway back or something. So it allows you to do it with two hits, which would score 5,000 points, resets and lights all yellow drop targets. So you can actually knock it about halfway back with your first hit and it'll stop and it'll be on like three or something like that. And then you can hit it again and the ball will roll up, hit the target the rest of the way up and make it happen. Uh, and you can do it with three hits. If you do that, you score 3,000 points, resets all the yellow drop targets, and lights the left pair of yellow drop targets. So it only lets you do this one instead of lighting both of them. And if you do it with more than three hits, it scores 1,000 points. Now, once you get all the way back to the back, or at the, or at the beginning of each ball, the very target resets. Completing all yellow drop targets resets the drop targets and increases the bonus multiplier or scores 5,000 points if the multiplier is already at five times. So you want to you hit the yellow drop targets as much as possible. Pop bumpers and rollover buttons score 1,000 points. A tilt does not disqualify a player. Matching the last two numbers in the score to a number that appears on the back glass after the game is over scores one replay. So there you go. I will grab the tripod, we will set it up, and we'll play through this sucker a little bit so you can see what it's like. Forgot to mention, you'll hear in a second, this had a Gottlieb second solid state soundboard. The first one everybody calls like the beep boop board because it just goes beep boop 
beep boop, you know. This one could actually play a little bit of a tune. So it's got a little bit more going on, can can play kind of some noise to make it sound spacey, stuff like that. So uh, it's still got its original soundboard that is in great working order. So we'll uh, we'll get the tripod and you can see what it's like. Be back in a second. All right, folks, we're going to play through a little bit of Buck Rogers. I'm going to turn it up a little bit so that we can hear it. If I can reach the uh, volume. Whoa. Camera slightly. We'll see what that does. I know people are uh, just as into the sound as they are the lights and the gameplay, so here we go. <laughs> Now this is Gottlieb's second soundboard. Their first one would just go beep, boop, boop, boop. See the skill shot at the top that I just missed big time? So what I'm trying to do is hit that very target in the middle there. That seems to be the most satisfying shot. And I also noticed the same player shoots again when lit. That's your ball save on this brand new uh, 9 one board. Ugh. I just tapped the very target. There we go. All the way, baby. Took two shots, though. See how the C's flashing at the top? That's a very hard one. It was in lanes, or the, the two inner rollovers at the top are really hard to make. All right. Let's try it again. We're just getting started. I guess I should be attempting to make the skill shot. You can you can hit that very target with the left flipper, but it's rough. It's hard. There we go. It's just harder to have a clean shot because that plastic's in the way. So you have to kind of just the angle's a little off. There we go. I got my little skill shot. Oh, well, that was two shots, though. Mm. enough oh man I can see it coming just couldn't hit it all right so that was a hundred and thirteen thousand which is pathetic. Yeah, skill shot. Oh, and I messed up the cool in lane feed. Oh, it saved the ball. Cool. So, if you didn't notice what happened, the ball was falling pretty fast and it fell right down into the in lane, which means it's going fast through the in lane. Whenever it's doing that, it gives you a lot of power on the ball for whatever reason. So whenever you flip it, it's just like wham. So if I would have if I would have timed that right and hit that very target, it would have for sure, for sure, people made a, a clean hit.
Ooh. See how it went faster that time because it was rolling at a pretty good little clip down the uh, in lane. Oh, did you see it flirting with it? It almost made it. It lit the light, but it didn't. It didn't hit it hard. Oh, it did it again. <laughs> It lit the light, but not enough to make it click in place. cray up in here. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it gets stuck. I like when it gets stuck because you get 5,000 points every time it lands in there. So that was 161,000. Let's play one more time. I can't see but there is a center post and it looked it looked like it was going to hit it clean so i just let it bounce and it bounced off the center post back up onto the flipper oh oh it saved it cool skill folks what else do you call making the skill shot <laughs> oh it's stuck on the center post so now i get to play the game will he tilt it i wonder if i can bounce it oh <sighs> one more game Look, I own the game. I can jiggle it around if I want. Don't worry about it. Mm. Just make that other. Mm. 
All right, folks, this is the last ball. Oh, oh, shoot again just because the uh, ball saves on. Never mind. I got the ball save set at six seconds. And I think it starts when it first hits a switch. Mm. Well, there we go. Very cool. Gotlib System 1. It's from way back in the day, folks. Some of the early solid state stuff. Now, by the time you see Buck Rogers, he may have zoomed off to another planet and not even be available at our store for sale anymore. But check out our website. It's always up to date, and it will have everything that we have in right now on it. Even if you're, check out our, even if you're checking out our website 5, 10 years from now, we're still going to be here. We're still going to be here. Don't worry about it. Uh, now, if, you, if you're local to us, if you can come by and see everything. We're in downtown Rock Hill, which is about 15 minutes south of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're in Rock Hill, South Carolina just over the border we're down below carowinds um, now if you're not local so you're never going to come by and if you're not looking to buy an arcade game say you're never going to check out our website that's fine just subscribe to us here on youtube and every time we get in a super awesome game like this we will film a little video for of it for you because we don't forget our youtube fans we love you guys so subscribe to us we will see you on the next video